Hey, hey, party people. I've had some, I always say, hey, hey, friends. I am outside. I just finished cooking on dinner on our Blackstone griddle, and I had some of you guys ask me how easy it was to take care of and clean. So I'm just going to preface this with I'm new to Blackstone. I haven't had mine that long, only a couple months. So everything I've learned, I've read from the manual and read on other YouTube videos, but I wanted to show you how I clean mine because you'll get a bunch of different ways from different people and this is what has worked for me. So I just made black stone fried rice and now I'm going to clean mine and show you how easy it is because usually I cook inside and I have pots and pans and all sorts of whatnot to um, clean up and out here I can just do it all on my griddle and then be finished. So I am going to show you real quick. Okay, so here's my griddle. I'm gonna turn it all the way off. Now, some people will, whoa, sunshine. So you'll just have to look at this part of me. Some people like to um, make their dinner and then go inside and eat and then come back out and clean. I usually am gonna clean mine as soon as I'm done with dinner because I don't want that extra work to do later. Woot woot. So um, I'm gonna clean mine with water and I have, um, I purchased this water squeeze thing from Amazon, but I've seen them at Walmart and lots of different places. And you want to do it when it's still warm, when it hasn't cooled down so you can get that steam factor. But if it's super hot, it's gonna steam a lot. So I usually wait till mine is just a little bit warm. Mine's just a little bit warm on this side, a little warmer over here where I did most of my cooking. And the first thing you do is you just scrape off all of your food. If you go and eat and come back later, if you go and eat and come back later, <laughs> you can uh, just turn it back on and warm it up a little bit. So just scrape off. There's a little cup in the back that holds the food, grease, whatever you have. And I just scoop it all back in there and then I clean that a little bit later after it's all the way cooled down. Then I'm going to, a little bit at a time, work in small sections all the way over, spraying a little bit of water, letting it steam, and then scraping. Okay, so I spray a little bit. to get all the stuff off that you, the food that's cooked on. All the way across until you get the whole thing cleaned off. Sorry, the sun is at a weird angle. So now that I've gotten it all scraped all the way off, as you can see, all the food is scraped off. I do take a little bit of paper towel and just go along the edges and make sure I have all of the water. It is still hot, so just make sure that you don't touch it with your bare hands. So there we go. Now I have it totally cleaned off, but you have to season it every time you're done. So. Um, I am using grapeseed oil. You'll get a thousand, sun is crazy. You'll get a thousand different opinions from a thousand different people. So here's what I'm gonna say. What oil should you season your Blackstone griddle with? You do you boo. Bacon grease, that would be legit. So whenever it's still warm, but all the way clean, I'm going to very liberally pour some of my grapeseed oil on top and then use a paper towel and then just make sure it's seasoned all the way across. This keeps it from um, rusting and also gives you a nice non-stick finish. I'd love to tell you guys um, exactly how I seasoned it in the beginning. As you can see, I was pretty liberal, but I literally just followed the instructions on the Blackstone, um, recommend, um, the Blackstone manual, owner's manual. So then, also, I live near the airport, so here goes a here goes some planes. Okay. 
you don't want standing oil. You just want it to look nice and oily. Okay, I'm going to go over mine one more time. I also, when I'm done, like to um, clean off the sides from any food splatter. And what I do along the sides on, I clean both sides here, and then I clean along the front here because it gets food splatter. And I literally just spray it down with some Thieves Cleaner and wipe it off. It works really great. So I just take my Thieves Cleaner, spray just a little bit. You don't want to spray it up in there. You could even spray your paper towel and then just wipe this down, get all that food off. It's warm so it dries pretty much automatically. And then down here I can do the same. Just clean off the edges. And when I'm not doing a video, I can go super fast, a lot faster than I can when I'm cleaning all of my pots and pans in my kitchen. So um, we went with the Blackstone because we wanted to be able to cook outside and cook all our food at once and cook meats and stuff outside instead of cooking them in the house where they're a little bit messy. And I love it. It is so easy to care for. It is so easy to use. I'm only sad that I haven't had it for years and years and years. So that's how easy it is because you guys know if it's not easy, I won't do it. And then when it's totally cooled down, we put the cover on and move it from there over here to the covered porch. And then we just leave her here for next time. Bye, Sheila. Sheila's what I call my griddle. <laughs>